What is good guys, it's your boy Monster Chappy. we're back for some Mad 13 gameplay back on the Xbox side and we're taking on Cold World Night, if you don't know who that is, go ahead and check out his channel, the link will be in the description, Cold World 09, he is the little homie, so be sure to check his channel out, he's got some good stuff over there, he is using his favorite team, the New Orleans Saints, I am using the Carolina Panthers, so this should shape up to be a really nice match between, you know, two solid quarterbacks in real life, you know, pretty decent defense with the Panthers, and a pretty great offense with the Saints, so should definitely be an interesting matchup. On this first possession, he uses Sproles very effectively and gets the ball into the end zone. Not sure why he didn't run more with Sproles. I mean, after you look at the post-game stats, you know, you'll probably be scratching your head as I was. But, hey, it is what it is. If you don't want to take advantage of something that's working, <laughs> um, you know, less power to you. <laughs> uh, that is one thing. If your opponent's not stopping something, you know, keep doing it or, you know, at least don't abandon it like, if they can't stop the run, at least mix in the run. Or if they can't stop the pass, at least mix in the pass. Um, don't become one-dimensional, especially if something that you did differently was working or was being seeming to at least be successful. Um, as you can see here, he's moving the ball up the field again. We got him on the fourth down, and uh, we are able to get a stop. So that's big right there, man. Turnovers, stops. <laughs> interceptions fumbles basically anything that changes the possession is really big and mad in this year uh, especially this year again it's more of an offensive game but you can make some defensive plays here and there um, <laughs> as you can see here I don't know what the heck I was doing but he ends up getting a really nice return right here with that man again mr. Sproles making it happen and, uh, yeah, again, Sproles with the draw gets about 10 yards there. And I think that's going to be Sproles' last run attempt for the game. Uh, <laughs> I'm dead serious. I think he ends up with two attempts for, like, 30 yards. But uh, he's able to convert a touchdown here. So, I guess it's working out so far. And uh, right there, we just messed up on that user catch really bad. But, you know, he, he keeps giving me the one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm going to keep going over the top. I mean, I like Steve Smith versus just about any corner in the game. Um, and, you know, again, we get one-on-one -on, -one on the island, so we hit him with the the slant against the man press, and we're able to capitalize and get a touchdown. So 14 up, throws an uh, overpass there. Uh, we drop that, unfortunately. And then the next play, uh, I'm not sure what he was doing. I think he may have precision the wrong way. And uh, Chris Gamble's there to go ahead and pick that off. But, uh, yeah, we are fortunate enough to have <laughs> him drop a pick the next play. So, fourth and 18, we're just outside of field goal range, outside of punt range, I guess. And, you know, we go ahead and go for it. And we are able to capitalize on that deep out. Cam throws it right on the money. Nine out of the ten times, that'll probably get knocked down. But, hey, it worked out for us this time. Third and 12, Cam. Cam, let's go. That is the beauty of having, you know, a dude like Cam Newton that can really run the ball effectively from the quarterback position, uh, especially if they run a lot of max coverage. You know, you get one guy like that. You got RG3, Vic. Uh, Kaepernick there's just a bunch of dudes now in the league that can make those types of plays so if they're just sitting there with a spy you can go ahead and run around him um, I'll leave a link in the, right here somewhere on the screen so that you could check out how to get around the QB spy this year but uh, it's definitely something that can help your offense especially against those max coverage defenses right here we got Olsen on a delay blue and uh, we're able to move the ball down the field ourselves so, as you've seen, just before half, we managed the clock. That way we would score and not leave him much time. And uh, that left him with 20 seconds, so he didn't have enough time. And then we got ball at half, so now we've set ourselves up to be in a position to be up two possessions, which is huge because now it puts a lot more pressure on him to, you know, score. <laughs> now, one thing Cole was saying was that he had, like, an infinite amount of drop passes this game. And what I was trying to explain to him was that basically those passes that he were dropping were actually, you know, from the defenders hitting the ball out. Um, like in that case, there's three dudes around them, you know, and if you, if a lot of times if you catch the ball and right away you get hit, uh, what's going to end up happening is they're going to knock the ball out of your hands or something like that. Um, and then he gives us single coverage again with Steve Smith twice in a row. So, you know, we're going to keep taking advantage of that. He's playing one-on-one -on -one man coverage. It's going to be very difficult for any corner, especially a Saints corner, um, you know, to lock down Steve Smith one-on-one. -on -one. It's just 
he's asking a little bit too much of his um his defenders in that case. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're gonna bring heat, you are gonna have to leave one on one at some point. Um, and if you're trying to bring heat out of zone, you're gonna have to leave certain areas on the field open. So that is one of the things you got to pick your poison. Are you gonna, you know, double coverage this guy, or are you gonna? try to bring heat you know you got to pick one or the other um you can do some blitzes with minimal rushers but again if you want something that's for sure going to get in there you're going to have to leave something open and uh take your chances so that's the, what the key to defense this year is taking chances taking away those first reads and then once you do that you know making it happen right here we got cam just bobbling all over people fourth and in inches and what happened on this play <laughs> A terrible play call, but uh, I wanted to run with Cam so bad, but <laughs> he didn't want to let me run with Cam. So that's what locked that play up. As I said before, you don't want your first read to be running with the quarterback, but on that play, my first read was running with the quarterback. So that's what jacked me up. Right here, we get a nice user pick with ben, uh, Beeson. And then here, we just Steve Smith, man. It, dude is making plays. Um, again, nine times out of ten, most guys will drop that. But Steve Smith is a elite wide receiver. And, you know, we were fortunate enough for him not to drop that. Fourth down again. And we're just continuously giving the ball to Steve Smith. As you can see, he's got seven catches already for a pretty nice amount of yardage. Um, I see him wide open there. But instead of throwing it while he was going towards the sideline, I waited for him to stop. That way, when I threw it, he didn't, uh, you know, catch it out of bounds and we not get a completion. Because that would be the worst thing to happen in that case. Um, and here, we're just moving the ball down the field, man. Taking what the defense gives us. Um, <laughs> that play right there was pretty funny because he knew exactly what was coming the FL screen. Uh, but he was just unable to get the tackle or interception. So, you know, shout outs to those Cole users. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I definitely had a lot of fun there. Now, as far as the Vegas tournament goes, very unfortunate situation, very um sad story. <laughs> um, but you know what happened was they banned my account, and the reason they banned my account was because they said I had multiple accounts, which I didn't. But you know the reason they thought that was because my cousin came over, he played on his name at my house because we were labbing, getting ready, and you know I guess. I don't know. They said there was two accounts from the same IP address. I really don't want to get into it. And then the customer support was very terrible um, for Mark that works with their VG support staff. So I don't know, man. Whatever. Uh, but my cousin did end up qualifying. So I'll still be going out to Vegas with him and, uh, you know, supporting the team. I'll get some money games down there and all that good stuff. So, you know, nonetheless, it should definitely still be a fun trip. There's so much to do in Las Vegas regardless. And, uh, you know, it should be a fun time. Uh, sort of like a February break, I guess. <laughs> but uh, that will be going down February 9th. And uh, definitely should be a lot of fun there. So, you know, we're going to make it happen. Right here, just kind of put an exclamation point on the end of this game. And, uh, you know, this one's pretty much over. But definitely a good game by Cole. He's definitely improved a lot since the last time we played. And uh, definitely showing some strong signs of improvement. Even though he's using that custom. <laughs> <laughs> but good stuff bro good game y'all be sure to check out cold channel and if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to mine peace out